inject their genes and apply the secrets, they told it. We are not the first case of the They do it like in their dimension all the time, in our dimension all the time. Yes. Um, I have heard some theories that these rays are actually from the future, yeah. or something went horribly wrong. Yeah, they have to They're trying to correct. Right, that's one of the theories. I don't know if it's true or not. That is possible. I mean, that's what they say, but um, they say they put the sample per time. So they may be our descendants, or on the other they are so ancient, they already populated an enormous amount of planets, so they, they could be descendants of other. And there is a ton of different source of grades. So, uh, so it's, it's a possibility, but it's not necessarily uh, true. It's one of the possible things. Yeah. Um, just leading up to like, Dr. Max had a picture of the watchers and Jim Sparks up there a few slides ago. Uh -huh. um, I've been speaking with Jim in order to get him to talk to our group. Jim has, I think, 95% recall of all those gray abductions, and he has thousands of them. Uh, one thing he said to me over the phone is that everybody has this, uh, has this fear for the grays, and it pervades through our culture. He says the greys are actually a very nice people, a very nice species. He says what you're afraid of when you meet them is that what they do is he, he compared it to your past life for a few. When you die, you see all of the things that you've done to other people, and that makes you feel really bad. He goes, the greys kind of do the same thing. When you meet them for the first time, they deconstruct you as a human being and then build you back up again, make you know who you really are. He says that's a very painful. So people that are uh, encounter the grace for a few occasions are in that deconstruction process, and that's why it's such trauma to them. But that trauma is actually self inflicted because they're just seeing of who they are, and that's coming right from this trauma. Uh, Bashar said exactly the same, and said it's a very awesome. He, he said that we have in our mind a lot of human darkness. And when we interact with high level beings, and Bashar is, and they, they are thinking of the issue. When you meet with us, what happens? We kind of bring, go down, they, they go down in, in their frequency, and we, they kind of bring us up to their frequency. And then kind of uh, remove the veil of our uh, hidden darkness. And what happens, we are become, becoming aware of our own darkness, what is exactly what he said. And he said, several times people said, come down to me, I'm ready for the contact. And every time, he said, it happened three times, three times, you let down, and it's so that, and people fear, they run away to the <laughs> So, yeah. uh, and they said, they conclude that we are not ready to be a society. And so they decided that first they will be more close to our species, and society are just too strong of uh, influence for us, so we are not ready to be a Bring that high vibration, uh, survive the high vibration. All right, so make